What's the crack lads? We are back and we're going to be testing out V2.4. We're going to be doing a full breakdown of the online gameplay and my impressions of that and then the offline gameplay. That's the squad we're going to go with. It's been the squad that we've been using for a while. I'm going to go straight into a match and I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, man, we're into a game, right? We're going to go straight in. I'm not really worried. I'm playing the exact same squad, playing the three at the back with the sub tactic of four. Yeah, the players feel responsive. I like that when you can stop up real quick. I like that. I see this guy now is overloading me. Oh, the bucket kick is still there. It has been... Mm, all the tackling is still there, kind of. Which we kind of knew. Let's see what the runs are like, though. Gakpo. Oh, that's a nice play. Camera can barely keep up. Gakpo! What a banger. That's an easy finish, in fairness. It's hard to tell, man. It's hard to tell. It feels very similar. The responsiveness seems very... I don't know, it's hard to tell. I mean, I'm going to have to play a couple of matches. I'm going to have to play a different, a couple of more matches. Yeah, the, it feels it feels very similar. Getting loads of space, though. Oh, I'm getting too much space against this guy. And the finish is too easy. Left foot, right foot. Gakpo's on fire after in V2.4, lads. It's a good start. But yeah, it feels, it feels fine, man. Obviously, it feels fine. Um, it's hard to tell. I'm going to have to test another match. And then, obviously, we will do... Uh, offline as well. Offline is always like more responsive. I will say that out wide the players seem to be getting forward a little bit more. So that will be something to keep an eye on. Good tackle again. Contextual auto tackle, auto block. Vieira is making runs all over. Oh no, that's a terrible pass. I like that though. That was a bad pass for me. Lovely defending. I mean, it feels very similar, man. The defending still way too way too assisted in my opinion. That's the big change I want to see come. But the attack and runs and stuff, Pedri again after his old tricks. The attack and runs and stuff seem to be a little bit more aggressive. But it's all about kind of like still cutting down. I don't think that the pace has changed too much. Passes seems to be slightly nerfed. That backwards pass, that pass worked there then as well. Yeah, it's hard to tell, man. It's very hard to tell at the moment. It does feel responsive, I will say that. Yeah, the dribbling feels better now, I will say that. The dribbling feels better, but the auto-tackling, the press, the defending AI attacking for you and defending for you is still way too overpowered, in my opinion. It's still too overpowered, man. That's my biggest concern with the game, is that, like, this guy doesn't really need to defend me. Like, he doesn't need to learn to defend me. He just needs to learn how to, like, bombard me, if that makes sense. And I, I don't like that at all. Lele. Oh, beautiful, Sane. Yeah, I mean, the defending... I think what they've done with the dribbling is... They haven't really explained it. But I think what they've done with the dribbling... is They just kind of put, like, a barrier around the players now... That it's like you get a little bit more protection. Which I think, in the grand scheme of things... Oh, that was a nice tackle. That looked like a new animation, actually. Oh, I like that player switch now. That was definitely better. That was definitely better. That player switch there. That's a lovely play. Ito. Ah, oh, I tried to cut back there. Again, it's all about them. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the game is still higgledy-piggledy, man. It's all about interceptions and it's all about blocks and... Auto blocks. But yeah, man, I think as the game kind of develops, like, they're going to have to eventually get a sweet spot with the game, right? Where everything that's in the game is balanced, and it's going to be impossible, man. It's going to be an extremely difficult task for them. Where they're going to have to get everything, like, balanced. Oh, that's a great ball. Oof. Simmons! Morientes! Simmons! Oh, what a finish! They're going to have to get everything balanced. They're going to have to get everything like that. My biggest problem, right, with the gameplay at the moment is that it's too dependent on the opponent's mistakes rather than, like, a brilliant move. More often than not. And I still feel that, like, with the stuff that they've talked about here, they've talked about, you know, the passing, haven't played a match now. I'm going to have to play one more after this and see. But I would say that the dribbling definitely is improved. Like, the actual responsiveness of things is definitely zippier. Um, it's not like... 
massively different, as I've already said, but stuff like this is definitely zippier without it being back at V1.0 uh, levels of, you know, which was, in fairness, was very easy for dribblers to make absolutely mince meat of players. But, like, stuff like that is definitely zippier. It mightn't always work all the time, which it shouldn't. It shouldn't be automatic, like, FIFA skills, you know, that work just nine times out of ten. Um, I still think if you time a double touch right... But I do think that the player's responsiveness is definitely improved. That's the big takeout from this. Like that there, like the skip ins, skipping ins and outs of challenges. That's definitely improved, man. That clip right there was a lovely clip. I'm actually going to save that clip. And go back to it after this game and, and analyze it. Because that's definitely improved. And it was with Salah of all people. And I know because I'm not able to dribble with Salah most of the time. Under the high ball. That's a brilliant save, lads. Ah, I didn't deserve that. Right, so I think this is what I was talking about when I get the ball back here with Salah. Lovely little intricate deft touches away from the man and then the little trick to take me away. He's at sixes and sevens. I do like that now, I must say, with Salah there. And I've never been able to play with Salah or dribble with Salah. Lovely little right stick, left stick switching. Little trick, pop it in. I do like that stuff. I do like that stuff, I will say. All right, lads, so I just have this page up, right? The gameplay fixes and adjustments. So... Talking about significantly improving the dribble and response, I would say that that's definitely been apparent even in my one game. Because I'm a dribble-centric player, I definitely feel like I'm in a position to know when it's completely like changed. It's not completely changed, but when I feel that there is definitely been improvements to it, right? Um, Mid-dribble shield command inputs definitely as well are there that I noticed in the first game. It's hard to put my finger on it, but it definitely does feel like more responsive. The player runs and stuff are like slightly better oh Vieira what a goal that would have been tackling still very automated though and the player positioning oh bad bad touch from Makalele that should have been a free player shoulder charge is still there man oh that's beautiful though that's definitely improved oh I shouldn't have done that but I just wanted to test out the chip shots Definitely, I think if you're watching that, that's a lovely clip there. Just left him sitting. Just left him sitting there, man, with the double touch. See him? He's giving me different options than just running separate lines. And again with Simmons. What about that for play, lads? But is it balanced defensively? That's the biggest thing. You know, I still feel like you... Oh, what a pass. Caught me completely unaware there. I'm in his head, though. No, I'm not in his head. One pass just come undone then as usual. This guy's playing fully defensive and he gets one pass. I nearly responded too quick there to the players. It's just getting used to the game, man. Look, he's just running into attacks all the time. I'm just ghosting past him. He's just depending on the game to actually defend for him. Viera! He's not clearing the ball. It doesn't really make a difference. Like, he's making all every mistake that he could possibly make. And I, he's still not getting... Like, he's still not getting punished until the 47th minute. And it's nothing got to do with skill level. It's nothing got to do with I'm a better player than him or anything like that. It's that the mistakes that he's making defensively don't really dictate the game enough. That's just my opinion. Is that, like, he got a goal on a breakaway chance right. That's fine, right? But I'm completely dominating him chances-wise. I'm reading what he's doing. He's not putting me any, under any real pressure, even though I'm playing three at the back. Um... You know, he finished his goal really, really well. It's not like he's a scrub. It's it's not got to do with him. It's just that I just feel like when you have the game assisted so much, you can make those mistakes. If I draw this game, disaster. Ah, come on, ref. Come on now, ref. Oh, I can't player switch. Oh, man, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, man. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Genie. Nah, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know what you're meant to do with that. It's it's just so, it's so automated with the defending, man. He, this guy doesn't even need to do anything. <clears throat> oh, lovely. Vieira! And there's the little tap in. He's not going to beat us anyway, Pedri. We didn't want to give him the full three points, lads. Now, in terms of passing and shooting... It felt the identical to me, man, in that first game. Passing, exactly the same. More responsive? I don't think so. Who knows? Uh, it's so minor. 
Um, you know, it still seems to be past level. You know, like support one is the is the ultimate one. Uh, I don't play on that, so I'm not going to be you know one touch passing everywhere. Uh, true passes will be played towards a more appropriate position. Shooting implemented adjustments to that players with the acrobatic skill. I'll try put a few balls into the box today. But the biggest things that I've noticed, genuinely, I would say, are the AI stuff. Like, implemented adjustments to position of the players in defensive situations so that increase in the attack defense level. Even without that, I definitely feel that because I'm playing out wide, I have more positions uh, to attack and to pass to. Adjustments so that lone strikers who look to run in behind the defense will search for open spaces uh, against a wider area before making a run. There's a lot of stuff there. In fair The problem is, man... Like, you have to be able to balance things. And I just feel like this gameplay, again, it's just too balanced towards the attackers, man. Now, we're going to play offline. They're going to be my next impressions offline. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what you feel about it. I thought that the first game was good. That second game was a disaster. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Some good things, some bad things. But still, I just feel it's too assisted. It's too automated for people that, like, literally can just let the game play for them defensively. That's my biggest problem. And it looks like it's continuing to be. So that's it, lads. I will talk to you later. There's my initial impressions after two games. I will be back with some offline impressions. Please don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts.